What's up, you guys? It's me, Kiki Solano, welcoming you to BYUSN right now. BYU men's and women's hoops are going dancing. Plus, we've got a ranking for men's hoops. All that, and I'm taking you guys to the Smithfield House for volleyball. Let's go. I am dancing because our number 23 BYU men's basketball team is going dancing. Our Cougs got a six seed and will take on the winner of the 11 seed playing game between Michigan State and UCLA. Good news is our girls are going dancing too. BYU women's hoops got an 11 seed and will take on six seed Rutgers. We needed this. Let the march madness begin. Let the congratulation tweets keep coming in and let our memes also begin. So feel so good to dance again. Feel so, feel so, feel so good to dance again. This is gonna be a fun time. You know a fun time that we haven't done in a while? The New Orleans Saints are restructuring Taysom Hill's contract to a four-year, $140 million extension. All years are voidable as a way to free up some cap space for the Saints, but we're wishing Taysom the best. Now let's get to the best of the best. BYU track and field showed up big in the indoor NCAA championships this weekend. The women's distance medley relay team are national champions after setting BYU's new record and getting the sixth fastest time in NCAA history. Apparently, one first place trophy wasn't enough for Courtney Wayman. She dominated in the 3,000 meter, getting BYU's first women's individual title in the 3,000 meter. Yeah, that's a big deal. And so is this, Zach McWhorter taking second in the men's pole vault, setting a new BYU record, which he had to do with a borrowed pole. That's right, um, the airline, ran over the team's polls. As for cross country and their NCAA championships, well, we have some new national champs on campus. Our women's team getting a title of their own. And as for our guys, Connor Mance is our D1 men's national champion. Now let me take you back to the weekend. Number two, BYU men's volleyball is about to take on Stanford. Now before we get into tonight's match, let me take you back to one year ago. Our Cougs last home series, and it was against Stanford. This was their last home series because of all the COVID shutdowns. That also made it the last time we had fans here in the Smith Fieldhouse, but that changed this weekend. Here we are, one year later, fans are finally back. We're socially distanced, we're wearing masks, but wow, does it feel good. Hang the Cardinal are uh, hanging in there. Dufunga. It is great to have some energy brought by the fans here in the Smith Fieldhouse, but here's the thing. BYU has been trying to get limited numbers of fans to all home games. In fact, for BYU soccer, they had fans at Southfield for the first time this season. Not only that, but it was the girls' first time back at Southfield. Unfortunately, they did fall to Santa Clara 2-1. to one. It was a hard-fought battle. Honestly, it was a hard-fought battle just to get the game started. Due to bad weather, the field was covered in snow this morning. So our AD, Tom Homo, sent out a tweet asking Cougs for help. He was out there shoveling snow. The girls were out there shoveling in snow. So good for them for even making the game happen. Oh, see, that wasn't great either. Oh, Garcia Fernandez, this is this is chase the ball as Will Rotman goes near the edge, and that's the end of the set. BYU leads 15 to 13. Look, it's a tighter match than I would like, especially considering that we swept them yesterday. So let's go to a game that wasn't tight at all. BYU softball has been absolutely dominant this weekend. Yesterday, taking down UTSA 11 to 1, and today, beating TCU 7 to 1. You love to see it. What we don't love to see is games canceled. Unfortunately, this did happen to BYU baseball. It was a weather cancellation. It was supposed to be their home opener against Utah that has now been rescheduled to May 18th. There to go get that ball. And then Yao Pianen <laughs> crushes it. BYU takes that to 25 to 22. Gabby Garcia Fernandez leads our Cougs with 11 kills. Seven of those kills came from set two alone. Look, he prepared for this matchup the best way he knew how. Mario Kart. That's, yeah, that's cool so stuff. cool. Remember how I said it was a kind of close match earlier? Well, that's not the case now. BYU starts set three with six unanswered points. They want the sweep, guys. Stanley, Julian. 
point BYU. BYU sweeps Stanford, getting the guys their fifth straight sweep. What a game, what an environment. But now, I should probably take you to studio. It was great to have fans back in the Smith Fieldhouse. Stay healthy, Cougar Nation, and I will see you next time on BYUSN right now. Peace out.